Well, good morning there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scott Manning coming to you live from Scott Manning YouTube Sports Talk. I want to thank all my loyal viewers for being with me here this morning. I'm not going to be here very long today. I want to do a very quick college basketball Elite Eight wrap-up. The NCAA tournament is now officially down to the Final Four. We're just going to get right to it real quick. I'm not going to be here very long, like I said, because i got a couple things I have to do. I slept very long last night. I just couldn't keep my eyes open after all the craziness yesterday, or last night and yesterday. So, I'm right here. Let's do this real quick. And I'm going to get on out of your way and let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Well, as far as the Elite Eight action goes on Saturday, all three of the number one seeds, now two of the number one seeds went down to the Elite Eight. North Carolina went down to the Sweet 16. Texas Tech upset a number one seed at Gonzaga, 75-69 to win the West region. Matt Mooney, 17 points, two rebounds, five assists. But you got to give some up, big ups to Brandon Clark. 18 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists in that game. It is a miracle that Texas Tech won that ball game. And did you notice towards the end of the game there was a technical foul called against somebody? I don't remember who it was off the top of my head. But he reached in, and there's a rule in, in, in the rule book. It says you cannot go in outside out of bounds and try to take the ball out of somebody's hand. That's exactly what happened late in the game. A technical foul was called. It was the correct call. I will give him that. Texas Tech upset Gonzaga 75 to 69, and what a game it was. Now, the other game on Saturday in the Elite Eight, Virginia, number one seed in Virginia, the only number one seeds going to the Final Four, and that's it. They knocked off Purdue 80 to 75, and this is despite the fact that Carson Edwards had 42 big points against Virginia. Virginia came back in overtime to take it away. Ty Jerome, 24 points, eight rebounds, seven assists. And Virginia went on to win the South region. They are going to the Final Four. In the Sunday action, and Sunday was crazy. Let me tell you. Number five seeded Auburn knocked off number two seeded Kentucky, despite not having not having Sherman Okiki. He's out for the rest. He is done for the he's done for the tournament. And possibly his career might be over due to when due to when he has a, now has a torn ACL. I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, Jared Harper. 26 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. What a game that was. P.J. Washington, 28 points, 13 rebounds, a double-double for him. I hate that. And two steals and a losing effort. Auburn is going to the Final Four for the first time in school history. And congratulations to the Auburn Tigers. Bruce Pearl, you have turned that program around, my friend. And my congratulations to you. And in the other, and in the other leading eight game on Sunday, Michigan State is going to the Final Four. They knocked off number one seeded Duke. Everybody had Duke going all the way and winning the national championship. And now some people are saying that Duke was overrated. I think I and I'll get to Duke here in a minute. Michigan State, Xavier Tillman, 19 points, nine rebounds, one assist. Zion Williamson, 24 points, 14 rebounds, two assists. Now what did I learn from all these Elite game, elite Eight games? Never take anything for granted. Everybody had Duke going all the way to one of the national championship. That's gonna, not going to happen now. Coach Gay was very disappointed, and it was a huge disappointment. Those were his words. Bottom line is this. A lot of people say that Duke was overrated. I think Michigan, was, Michigan State was the better team. They guarded better. Zion Williams, and the problem is Duke couldn't – and they have been they've been having trouble shooting threes all season. They cannot hit three balls. They can't they can't hit shots from beyond the arc. Duke, Zion Williamson, and R.J. Barrett, they're like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Can't do that. And Zion Williamson had a great performance. A lot of people are saying he's overrated. But let's think about this for a minute for Zion. He's projected to go number one in the NBA draft. It should be Zion Barrett. Zion Williams and R.J. Barrett, and possibly John Moran out of Murray State. But that's for another time and another place. I'll address that another time. Now, let's look ahead to the Final Four. And this is what's going to have everybody talking. The first game of the Final Four is going to be Auburn versus Virginia. This is the first Final Four game of the night. It's a, it's a 6 o'clock game on CBS. Both games are on CBS tomorrow. The CBS on Saturday. Keep that in mind. And I'll probably be do more of a preview on this on Friday night during my during my Friday night sports talk show. 
And, I'll, and I'm going to be making an announcement that, about that here in a few minutes. So stay, so stay tuned for that. Now in the first game, it's Auburn versus Virginia. Let's think about this. Virginia, they pass the basketball. They're, they're mod, they're, they, got, they got the style of the first team to 50 wins. Ty Jerome, DeAndre, Hen, DeAndre Hunter, Kerry Blackshear Jr., they've got some players. The problem that I have with Auburn is Chamara Okiki's out for the – he has a torn ACL and he's done. But Auburn beat Kentucky. They got the job done, but do I see them beating Virginia? Not on your life. I'm giving that – I'm taking Virginia to beat Auburn in the first Final Four game. Now, this is the next one. Michigan – Texas Tech versus Michigan State. This is the one that's got me that I'm having trouble with. Because let's think about it. Texas Tech, they've got a great team. David Moretti, Matt Mooney, Tariq, o Tariq Owens, and of course you got Jared Culver. Texas Tech has got a team. But what about Michigan State? Nick Ward, Cassius Winston, Xavier Tillman, Matt McQuaid. There's some guys that didn't even play when the season started. So my thinking is, a lot of people have said they could see Texas Tech winning the national championship, or at least going all the way to play for the national title. You know what? Honestly, consider what I've seen, and consider what Texas Tech did in the Elite Eight, and let's think about this for a minute. This is a Texas Tech team that's been very hot, that's been living a very charmed life. Matt Moody had 17 points in their victory over Gonzaga. And Texas Tech, they've been playing fantastic all throughout the Big 12. They played well. They shared the Big 12 conference with Kansas State. But in the end, no disrespect to my boss, Nick Ward, he's a great player, Xavier Tillman, Michigan State and Company, Tom Izzo, you guys are a great team. But in the end, I've got to go with Texas Tech beat Michigan State because if you stop and think about it, Chris Beard has a great team. He's got, I mean, think about it, he's got Matt Mooney, David Moretti, Jared Culver, Tariq Owens. They got a team that could possibly go and win the, go and possibly go and win the national championship. That's all there is to it, my friends. Bottom line. And you know, I want to go back to Zion Williamson for a minute. A lot of people have said Zion is overrated. I don't know about that, but he's got to start hitting three-pointers. He can't just stand there, try to hope and pray that there's an opening, go and try to take it inside and try to get a slam dunk. He's got to start hitting three balls. Him, R.J. Barrett, they were the freshman duo, 25, they both averaged over 20 points per game. I mean, Zion on their loss, he had 24 points. I think, like, let me see here. Let me look at my notes here. 24, let's see. Yeah, 24 points, 14 rebounds. A double-double and a losing effort. So here's the question. If you were an NBA owner, would you go with Zion? I would in a heartbeat. Here's why. He's a great player, but he's got to start working on hitting three. He's got to start shooting threes. Because the NBA is a lot different than Duke University. And he better realize that real quick if he decides to go pro. R.J. Barrett, same thing. They're, as it stands right now, the, the, my latest information is they're, they're slated to go one and two in the draft. And John Moran of Murray State is selected to go three. But the bottom line is, Duke, it came down because Michigan State wanted it the most. And it was proven last night. And the bottom line is, Michigan State's going to the Final Four instead of Duke. And Duke, throughout the whole NCAA tournament, was living a charmed life. They should have lost to Virginia Tech. They should have lost to UCF, for crying out loud. Four, four of their last now this makes it five of their last nine games. They've been decided by by one by one possession, and that was it. Two points or less. But this time they were on the losing end. Duke's going home. Michigan State's going to the Final Four, and my boss is on cloud nine, and that's all there is to it. And I'm going to tell you right now, you'll probably be hearing this again Friday night, which leads me to this special announcement. This Friday night. At 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, my show format is going to be changing. It's not going to be the Scott Manning YouTube College Basketball Show. It's going to be the Scott Manning YouTube Sports Talk Show. I'm going to be talking everything. I'll be talking about the Final Four in college basketball. I'll be talking Major League Baseball, the NBA, 
auto racing and the National Hockey League. And I'm going to tell you right now, it starts this Friday night at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I hope and pray you guys can come and join me then because we're going to have a whole lot of fun. And it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to this night. The premiere is this Friday night, April 5th, on my birthday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. And I want to thank you guys so much for being with me during this whole college, ball, college basketball season. It's time to move. i got to start moving on to other things. And that's exactly what I'm going to do starting this Friday night. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. I want to thank you guys so much for taking this time with me here this morning. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Scott Manning. All you have to do is type my name, scroll down, look at this pretty phrase, Pretty face, click subscribe, and you'll see all the sports videos I have done so far. Thank you guys so much for being with me. You guys have a great day, and God bless.